And it's still somehow super technical with Puff and super, super good. Yeah. But his think... mindset is definitely like, yeah, I don't care. I just want to gonna do stuff. Yeah, I just want to be sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely reflects in his playstyle. A more carefree playstyle. I really like that. Yeah. I think he's super um, willing to play slow, defensive. Like he's shown, against, shown it against me a lot of times. He was just laser straight for 40 seconds if I gave him a chance to do it. Um, and that's obviously super key against buff. So I hope Levingi is in that kind of mood because that will force the response out of solo battle. And so far, solo has shown that he's willing to, to gamble. And maybe that's a good way for Falco to, to win the matchup. Force the buff to do something dumb. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, yeah, it, it's looking like like Levingi is showing a lot more restraint than Kinzo was in this matchup, right? Like Kinzo yeah. was, and he he was trying to wall him out at times, but it all, always was like in order to force a reaction. I was all about, oh my god, what a rest read again. Um, it was always he was always trying to you know, force an immediate reaction out of solo battle while Levingi is you know trying to control the pace a lot more than Kinzo yeah. did. Kinzo was basically like a whole lot more aggressive. Oh my god, that kills. 64 on battlefield, I did not expect it to kill. Me neither. Shout out to 64. I didn't see was that 64%? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 64 is a great game. I see like they, they, they added all these new characters. I don't know if we have a 64 event during the five days of melee. I know we have a PM event, which is awesome. But I think yeah. it's only melee and PM. But yeah, they, they, are, they, they are adding all these new characters. There's, um, you know, the, the piano, the haunted piano from Mario 64? Dude, I now. saw a Twitter clip of Wizrobes with that. And I was like, I was so confused. I was tweeting like, like, what is this? What is this like a horrible nightmare inducing as piano doing in my 64? Dude, what's happening? <laughs> I, I, think, I, no, I thought it was a skin or something. Nah, it's for real. I feel like it, that, that should have been the character instead of uh, Piranha Plant in Ultimate. Oh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like sure. the, 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 the piano would have been sicker, for sure. True. Okay, so yeah, Levingi, dude, as you said, as we were saying in the beginning, he is committed to, you know, not over committing. He is giving solo battle, like, no free openings whatsoever, yeah. just, you know, trying to pick his spots to uh, to intervene with whatever solo battle is trying to throw at him. Basically having this, basically having this in, uh, like, having the mental advantage, so to speak, you know? And he still went down, though, because, like, the moment you said that, he went to the top platform, and yeah. solo was like, I'm not going up. And living, he went down. I mean, it's five minutes on the clock, but Solo had to go up eventually. So he could have taken his time, like Wizzy would have. I'm sure if Wizzy was there, he would have sat down and yeah. opened the drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I opened a bottle of water, and that's going to be game one to Solo battle. Like, no matter how much you try to, you know, uh, play the patience game against Solo battle, he still is the GP player, right? So, yeah. Uh, there, there's like this inherent bias that you have, like, already on the character select screen, where, like, this up, so. I'm pretty sure that was a huge read. There's no way he yeah. reacted to that, right? No, no way, no way. Well, it worked out well. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And already we see that this is the opposite, right? Levingi going to Dreamland. Yeah, this is so strange to me. <laughs> I mean, if he's re really want, like willing to camp, like camp for real, then it's gotta be really hard for Puff to approach the top platform, right? And the lasers from across the stage. But you have to yeah. be willing to commit to it for eight minutes. <laughs> exactly. Dude, especially being down the first stock, like right away, this must be such a mental yeah. drain for uh, for living, you know? But, you know, he made it up in less than a minute, so we're still on pace for not being timeout. But he's in the corner now, he has to get out. He manages to. Oh, what a read! Going for the Skull Bash, but not going for the Edge Guard. Yep. Finally gets some breathing room. That was hard. It lasted for like 15 seconds. Okay. Oh, what a read again! The moment I thought Solo Battle finally let go of him, he manages to like turn the situation around with a rest. This is so sick. It's a uh, uh, Flurk, it's 1 0, by the way. Uh, 1 0 for Solo Battle. I feel like. Living is being patient, but is he being threatening enough? Because I feel like Solo Battle is super happy to just chill, you know? 
Yeah, I, I feel like that as well. I think uh, the way Kinzo was approaching this was a lot better in terms of you know getting a reaction, forcing a reaction out of solo battle. Uh, because yeah. he was he was really like threatening him. While solo battle, I think he can play the patience game and he doesn't mind it, especially because of the character. Oh my god, another one of those rests that came out of nowhere. Sharking him with the up air there. And, oh, that almost would have been another one. Oh, that was a, a, a raw, raw rest bait, right? Yeah. The is, I could see it coming already. But living didn't bite. Okay. Oh, he didn't Four smash. It's not gonna kill. Tipper forward smash. Yeah, making sure to stand sideways. Yeah. Rest? No rest? Ah, uh, that's still about wants to play. Maybe he has yeah, something definitely. to prove. Maybe he has maybe something, he has to, something to prove. Because, because maybe they have never played before. Like, at least yeah. I don't remember and you don't remember. So, for, yeah. for all for all that uh, all intents and purposes, this is the most important match of their life. Of the, of the Finnish history. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love solo it. battles solo battle is toying with him. This is ridiculous. Uh, what was he supposed to do? Like, uh, maybe four smash would have broken the shield. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And a broken shield equals kill, right? So. Yeah, against buff for sure. Oh no. Oh. I think I broke a, sh a puff shield in tournament once. I broke a frozen light shield in tournament once. That was so funny because I knew it, but I have never seen it, right? I, except mm. for like on videos. So I was like, oh my God, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> and then I pulled a bomb and killed him another time. I think I broke text one, but my, it doesn't count for me because I have Marth. I pressed B, it's like 50% of the shield already. Yeah, dude, I, pressed, I pressed uh, C stick down a lot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, we see Livini going with the um, with the opposite strat this time. Okay, I cannot contain him on Dreamland, so I need to, to, to play for the kills this time around. True. So you should story it is. He baited out a very ill-advised rest, so that worked out perfectly for him. Oh no, DI! This DI was like perfect for Solo Battle to continue this combo. Looking like 2005 melee. Looking like kicks. <laughs> it's so hard to have the discipline to DI the first one away. And you know if you don't die the first one away, you're dying anyway. But dying away off stage against buff feels bad. It feels so bad. But you have to. Okay. Ooh, going for the double shine off the top. As we were saying that uh, Solo Metal was avoiding this very well when he was playing against Kinzo. For some reason, uh, Levingi, you know, he gets those shines off the top. The second yeah. in the set by now. Ooh. And there's gonna be a strong... Oh, Solo Metal doesn't even want to edge guard. He tried to go for something fancy. Yeah, he tries to go for those edge cancels. I think he really tries to get into Levingi's head right now, right? It, it, it's gotta be like that, because he could've killed him by now. Like, twice. In that way, he, he reminds me of Tech so much. Like, <laughs> True, the, the, yeah. the way they both like to do dumb stuff in neutral. It's, part of it is to make you feel bad, and part of it is to condition you so that later on, when they stop, you get lost again. But right now, he's definitely spamming whatever he feels like. Yeah, exactly. It looks like it. And it looks like, you know, Levingi is getting a little bit flustered by it. He, he's throwing yeah. out, like, ill-advised aerials every once in a like, uh, left and right, and this, you know, it's not looking good for him. I think, yeah, Levingi is playing kind of impatient. Mm -hmm. It's like he's willing to try to edge guard buff, and I feel like he, the way Pip was handling it earlier as Fox, was more solid, I think. Where you're trying to box buff to the corner, but not necessarily trying to commit too hard. And Levingi has been trying to maybe push push the advantage a little bit too far a couple of times. And as Falco around the ledge is super scary to go for that stuff. I think the the reasoning uh, behind that is like something that you know, like Solomon. Oh, that's gonna be enough. That's all right. Levingi on the board. I, I was just about to say. I think the reasoning for uh, for. Uh, Levingi's or Levingi's impatience here might have been like Solo Battle toying around a little bit too much and he's like, you know, there's like this this disdain for your opponent toying with you, like uh, brewing up inside you, being like, no, you don't, you cannot do this to me, I'm a, you know, I'm a screw yeah. you up. And uh, yeah, apparently that worked out in Levingi's favor though, because he is on the board now. And this uh, is a lot of advantage for too. Solo Battle. Did you say it's an interesting counter pick, Fountain? I would have expected Battlefield? I'm not sure. But he already won Battlefield, right? Ah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Ooh, 
Then I'm guessing he doesn't want to have to deal with uh, with Dreamland again. But I guess yeah, Fountain can make make some sense. It's still got a, like a high top platform, not quite as high as the Battlefield uh, or Dreamland ones, but you know, still higher than Yoshi's. And Yoshi's was working out, which is uh, you know something that Solo Battle maybe doesn't expect. So you know, he doesn't yeah. want to go there, but he wants like an equal stage layout. And there's no Shine Kimping on the stage either. It's not gonna happen. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know when Shine kills on on F4D, but maybe 90 off the top, 800. Yeah, maybe Vingy. It's something between 90 and 100 is gonna be. Yeah. The Vingy is putting on a, a clinic right now. True, looking like a four star right now. We are on pace for a four star, but you know, against Puff, that's very difficult to achieve. Yeah. But at least you know that for this stock in particular, Puff can not throw out the rest winningly anymore. Okay. Ooh. Now he only has to get some damage on, and Puff will not be allowed to rest anymore. And exactly. That, that's basically gonna seal the deal, right? Okay. I was expecting maybe a disrespect jab or something, you know? To wake her up. Uh, that's gonna be a rest, you know. Twenty percent. That's that's still alright. I think Livingi should not be able to get more than fifty or something like this. No. Okay, it's two hits, getting twenty-one damage out of it. Uh, that's definitely very, very uh, good for a solo battle. I and think he's I'm on super, pace for a comeback. I'm super ahead on you, Dennis. Five fifty, five forty-nine. All right. Yeah, you like four seconds ahead. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty close right now. Solo in the corner has to get out. Any any strong move from Falco will finish the stop. Up to one day. And a back here off the top. And that's a two-two. Tied up. Okay, so you you gotta be wondering, being uh, being solo battle in this situation, what what are you gonna do? Like where are you gonna you know go with it with it? Because you tried all the stages basically, right? We yeah, I think at this point they have. You you can't go to Pokemon Stadium. Possibly, right? That's like this dumb. I would never go to PS. I think, yeah, it's kind of rough. But at the same time, frozen PS. There's an argument for it. Yeah. Now okay. we go to PS. Because I feel like with the transformations, it's really, really bad for buff against species. But without the transformations, then it becomes a straight up buff for like Marv, uh, Buff, Sheet, Black and Peach. Um, basically, only the spaces benefit so much from the transformations, right? They really love abusing it. Because their movement is like very flexible, their approaching patterns that are flexible. Other characters not so much, right? Yeah, not that's as much. so true. Oh. Yeah, characters that have like uh, that have like super quick jump speed, like Fox, Falco, and Falcon, they definitely yeah. benefit from like those uh, those higher uh, like objects uh, that are you know on the transformations. And the fact that they have shine as well, because their entire body is a hitbox, so like they can move with it any way they want and still get the hitbox out. Uh, with Falcon, what are you going to do off, off the ground? You have to jump, and if the layout is weird, it becomes more complicated. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, Fox Falco definitely benefit from this uh, from the transformations the most. Uh, and yeah, it's a better buff, as we said, for Jigglypuff and for other characters. And yeah, so we see some little opting for this counter pick, and it works out in his favor, like. He, I think Solo Battle, right, he lost the, the small stages with the three platforms, both of them. He lost Yoshi's and he lost on, uh, on yeah. Fountain. So maybe, you know, getting rid of the top platform, but still benefiting from the, uh, from like how wide the stages, just like Battlefield and uh, Dreamland were, that, you know, might be the perfect choice for him here in this scenario. I would have never expected that, but it seems to be working out pretty well. I'll be honest, Dennis, I think this is going to come down to spaghetti. And I think it's oh, going to be oh. all about the mental game. And in that context, I would give it to Solo. I feel like it's shown that he do he cares so little that in a good way, right? In a good sense of the term. That yeah. I feel like he's going to have the advantage when it comes down to it. But so far, Vingy keeping it very tight and close and composed. It, it feels to me like, I don't know, I, I think I've made this comparison earlier. And uh, maybe on the on the surface, it doesn't seem like this, but he, like, especially playing Puff and the way he's playing, reminds me actually really a lot of like the early Mango. It's like this carefree, yeah. just loving melee, just loving to, you know, uh, styling on your opponent, getting into their head, yeah. waving around, like doing like, not playing optimally, but, you know, playing like cool and playing like having fun. Ooh, oh my god, shine on the top. 
I feel yeah, like Solo think... has to has to hate it at this point because he got hit like four or five times by this combo. Yeah, I think I think it was four times by now. Oh, ooh, Solo battle not going for the rest, instead going for the edge guard and not getting it. The dinghy mixing up his recovery so good that Solo battle was not ready to get out there in time and you know being ready for throwing out an option for either side B or. Uh, Ooh, uh, side B. The infamous Levingi, Levingi side B from the ledge. Mm, the, we call it the net play. <laughs> the net play, Falco. Yeah, in, Ger in Germany we always say net play when Falco or Fox side B's from the ledge. It's true. It's so strong online if you don't have like Wasapi or dedicated audio. So the yeah. audio like from net play is really hard to deal with. True. Are we synced up again, by the way? I'm at like 442 now. Yeah, 40, 440, 439. Yeah. We get pretty good. Apparently, you can hold tab to catch up anyway. Oh, let's speed it up. Okay, and uh, now I feel like Solo Battle was gonna be fishing for the rest. He really wants it right now. On a fresh dog, when you are at that high of a percent, you need the rest to catch up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, oh, oh my god. It. Ill-advised spot dodge. I don't think he intended to, to do that because that's easily reactable with another down tilt, right? That's exactly yeah. what Levicky did, and I think he did it on reaction. So maybe Solo Battle was buffering a roll, but not uh, pressing his uh, pressing his stick the right way. I don't know. Looking like spaghetti, like you said. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a rest. Oh, and it comes down to the last nine, game five nine. situation for the King of Finland. That was a couple percent off of killing. Dude, I would have been I would have been so mad if that would have killed. I was like, no, don't, <laughs> don't rob me of my spaghetti moments here. <laughs> I'm cyclomactic for sure. Yeah. The Vingy has been the dominant in the corner so far this game. Oh, that was almost a really bad time for the for the Vingy. Yeah, the Vingy getting solo battle into shield just like he wants to, so he can pressure his shield and you know uh, catch his out of shield options. Oh. Doing everything right and the F tilt kills. What is that, that? Was that was for sure a soccer moment right there? <laughs> that was maybe one of the funniest kills I've ever seen. I don't know 